I hear that rain coming down out there. Man, maybe I better change for the weather. I'll be right back. Well, it's wet weather out there. I think this uh, this will do pretty good for out there. So as you can see, it's late March. Uh, looks like it should be clearing up. The rain should be clearing up here in about an hour. So that's that's good timing. Uh, it looks like the temperatures are going to be warming up. Wow, well into the hundreds in June. That's uh, that's pretty amazing. It's going to be hot. Okay, so we are going to get this uh, fifth wheel dropped off real quick right here. Hopefully this has the right pickup for this. Good. All right, let's get this back and parked up out of the rain. Luckily, the cover was on it, so we don't have to worry about the rain getting in that fertilizer. Glad I bought a cover for it. Oh, they delivered the seed. Good. Oh, love those guys. Those are awesome. They parked it. They put it up underneath the uh, under the overhang there so it wouldn't get wet. That's awesome. That's great. Hang it backed up around here. Okay. Looks like we have a couple things to do while it's raining. Yeah, let me go up and go get the trailer because we need to get the uh, milk down to the production there. I'm gonna check some prices while we have an hour or two before things really get going. We do need to check on the chickens and the cows as well. So we will definitely get that done. So the sheep are doing pretty well. They have a decent amount of food. Chickens need some more grain. And the cows are doing pretty good. They've got some milk going there, so that's a good thing too. Okay, so we have some items that we can sell here. The milk uh, that we have, we don't have a whole ton of it, but it it's fetching a decent price, so we're going to go ahead and sell that. We do need to go down and get a tanker from the dealership. I have one picked out. Uh, that I think will fit the bill quite nicely. Then we are gonna drop off the honey down at the Johnson's Farmer's Market. Uh, it's a very good price right now. Sheep's cheese is near maximum. So it's it's within uh, it's within five to 10% of max price. So that'll net us quite a bit of money too. So we need to do that because we are down around 11,000. It's a little closer than I like to get. Once those cows start producing more milk, we'll be in really, really good shape. So that's the plan. Okay, and those are all loaded up. Let's get over here. We'll pick up this honey. Not a lot of it, so. Okay, and I got this honey loaded up here. Get everything strapped back down. There we go. So we're going to get the uh, sheep milk over to the cheese factory and then pick up that cheese. That's going to be delivered to the dairy center. Those are dropped off. That's good. Back up here again. Perfect. Those are ready to go. So we're going to get the cheese dropped off at the dairy center. And then we're going to get the honey dropped off at Johnson's Farmer's Market, which is just up past the garage. It's always a trick trying to get into this little spot right here. I think I'm going to back it in instead. That's going to be how we're doing it without hitting cars. There we go. That's nice. It netted us about 15,000. See if we can get turned in here real quick. And get that honey sold. 
thinking the trigger's actually right there. Wow, that didn't get us anywhere near where I expected. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, it probably costs us more gas than anything else. Go ahead and head back to the farm, and I'll see you there. I am going to go pick up the grain trailer real quick, and uh, we'll get those chickens fed. Not sure if it'll take it all, but no, it looks like it will. Nice. All right. Let's check and see how that did. She can definitely take some more, so let's go ahead and fill her up. Get back down here. Now let's get them a decent amount of food. Okay, so we're headed down to the dealership, probably open up here in about 20 minutes, so the timing will be just about right. We will see you down there. Yeah, they're just about to open up, probably just a moment here. We'll get, get pulled around back. There we go get her shut down all right let's go in and say hi yep they're open all right i did find this one it looks really actually pretty good it's got the dualies on the back got a nice uh color to it too uh, it'll be good for hauling with the truck so i i think that's what we're gonna go with It's nice looking rig. Kind of matches. everything's connected in here oh, it looks good I don't think we'll have any issues whatsoever cool all right well those tires are definitely Made for road work, not for uh, not for four by four, and so we'll go ahead and take this out on the road. Anyway, and watch, she's gonna stop. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. All right, we'll see you back at the farm. Okay, so nicely enough, this has a capacity of fifteen thousand liters, and that is perfect. So not a lot in there, about 2,500, but it will be enough to get us through. Let's go ahead and pick up this cheese while we're there. 
You see it's in the same area. Kind of neat it has that carrying top up there. We could get uh, more than one thing done with this tanker. That's pretty awesome. There you go. Thank you, sir. See you around. All right, we'll get this milk dropped off here. Not a ton, but you know, 4,000 bucks is nothing to spit at, so. And now with a little change in our pocket, we're gonna be heading up and getting the planting done in field number one. We'll see you there. Perfect. Go get that other one. Perfect. Good. Looks like she's about two thirds full. Before we do get started, I did just notice that we are nearly out of gas. All right, we got this filled up. Still have almost 1,200 liters in the tank, so we're doing really good. A lot of times, too, we're out on the field, so it stop by the gas station we will get that done for us. So. A lot of the uh, equipment needs tune-ups too, so we want to make sure that that's all set and ready to go. Get this folded out. Okay, so we're going to be laying oats in this field. Get this powered up. There we go. Everything looks good. So this will be the first full crop of ours in this field. So that's kind of exciting. Yeah, that it seems like such a long time ago, but man, getting this field prepped and ready to go finally, it's kind of exciting. All right, we'll get the drone up and do a couple headlands and off we go.
This is the last little stretch, guys. We made it. Let's back and get it put away. And that is all of the field sewn. All right, well, that's a good deal. Well, I think that's probably going to conclude it for today. Yep, for sure. So I'm going to put a few things away. But I thank you very much for joining me on Green Valley USA. This is Sharon Blackwraith. Out.